uh, Trey Lance. What's your evaluation right now of Trey after week one? Yeah, I think uh, I think it's probably right where we thought it would be. He did some good things, uh, looked in very much in control, had some really impressive throws, and then there's some things you you know Trey would expect himself to do better going forward. And so long as he can continue. Uh, to improve upon those things, I, I think there's there's so many bright um, uh, examples why we should all be excited about you know what's to come. But you got to continue to improve. It's a tough position. The the uh, the everything is uh, being analyzed and overanalyzed. And um, you know I think I think the important thing coming out of that game, um, we lost that as a team. And uh, you know. Uh, I think that's where some of the disappointment, you know, you know with a young quarterback that, that um, you're going to have to, everyone's going to have to be on point. And we kind of, we came apart at the seams as a team, not just at one position. And so I think we all understand that and we all have to come back and we expect Trey to continue to grow and get better each and every week. And and uh, we think he's got the makeup to do so. You say everything's being analyzed and overanalyzed. Um, and I know in the NFL, it's all about like the team and the building and the culture and the locker room. But this guy and, and this position and this team produces so much noise. Are you at all advising him on how to handle the noise? Um, you know, I, I, I talk with Trey a lot, you know, just around the building and such, but, you know, he's got a number of people in his corner. I think, you know, I didn't, I didn't play that position at, at this level. I, you know, I played for a long time and, you know, my only advice is don't, don't listen to the noise. Um, you know, listen to your coaches, listen to your teammates, listen to the people that matter. And, um, yeah, there's going to be narratives and things out there, and it's hard in today's world. Um, there, there is so much noise, and you're right. With our team, there seems to be always uh, even more so. And um, you know, but that's I think that's our challenge is is to to, to not buy into all that and just understand uh, who we are, how we improve ourselves, and and that's what's most important. That's what will turn into wins, and uh, so that's what that's where we choose to focus our energies. So he doesn't he he blocks it out, but you don't have to. And I'll give you a chance to publicly you can fire on these people, whether it's Mike March or Sean Payton or I read Jason Lock and Forrest saying you guys are gonna bench Trey if he loses this week. I mean, there's there's things out there that must be getting your your blood boiling. Do you do you want to fire back on these guys? I d I don't choose to. I mean, you know, I I, uh, you know, sometimes you'd think that a guy like Mike Martz, who's done this at this level, you know, would uh, would would choose a little, um, I don't know, to handle things differently. But, um, you know, I, I'm really not focused, you know, just as Trey shouldn't be. I, I can't be focused on all the all the noise out there. And so I'll focus right in here in this building on how I help this team in every way to, to put the best possible team out there every week. That's my job. And so that's what I'll continue to do and, and uh, not get cut up and all the, all of that. What a half joke. And don't you kind of want to go, if they come over the middle, don't you want to John Lynch them? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. They're, they're welcome to come by and we can try it out. So <laughs> but, uh, there's but, a reason uh, why you're wearing the gold jacket. And it was when you saw people come over the middle, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm leading you to water here. I'm trying to make you drink. I know. I